Hi everyone, welcome to DD Economics Tutor. In last video, we have discussed about elasticity of demand for class 11. In this video, we are going to learn about the kinds of direct tax system, that is, proportional tax system, progressive tax system, and regressive tax system. First, proportional tax system. Proportional tax system means it is a system in which the tax rate remains constant with increase or decrease in the income. That is proportional tax system na tax rate vandu constant ave irukum whether if there is an increase or decrease in income ungalaoda income increase aanalo decrease aanalo adu endu or changes me irukadu adu dhaan proportional tax system example pathina if tax rate is 10 percentage and the annual income of person is a 1 lakh so then he will have to pay 10000 per year as a tax if income raises to 1 lakh 25000 per annum then the tax liability will rise to 12500 per year appa income increase aanalo decrease aanalo and the 10 percentage abindrathu maarave maaradu adhu dhaan vande proportional tax system Next to Pathina, progressive tax system. It is a system in which the tax rate increases with an increase in the level of income of taxpayers. In the progressive tax system is that your income increase in the tax rate to increase. Aago. Example, tax rate of 10% for person earning between 60,000 and 1 lakh per annum and 20% for persons earning between 1 lakh and 1 lakh 50,000 per annum. Now, 10% of people are earning 1 lakh per annum salary. If you 20% of persons are earning 1 lakh 50,000 per annum. So, in the case, the burden of tax is more on rich section. As compared to other poor section. Apo poor section people are rich section people maradha, burden of tax on the Adiya Mark. So India follows the progressive tax system. The next tax system is a regressive tax system. It is a system in which the tax decreases with an increase in the income of taxpayers. In the system na, in the regressive tax center one income increase at China. Tax, the rate of tax when they decrease. Ago. Example, Patina, if a person pays rupees 1000 as a tax on income of 10,000, so then tax rate is a 10 percentage. So if his income raises to 15,000 and he is required to pay 1200 as a tax, upper income increase at China, our tax when they decrease. Ago. So then the average tax rate will fall to 8 percentage. So in this case, the burden of tax is more on the poor section as compared to the rich section people. I hope you are all understand the what is progressive, regressive and proportional tax. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe my channel. Thank you.